Welcome to Joy of Practicing. I'm Feli Galan. The single most common trap that we all fall into in our practicing is mindless repetition. I'm sure you've heard the expression, you get what you repeat. And this is very, very dangerous because with mindless repetition, you will end up with mindless playing. Rule of thumb is, you can't expect a different result by repeating the same thing. So if a passage has not been working, stop repeating it blindly and examine your challenges. The work is in finding solutions that will get you what you want. Hoping that the passage will fix itself if you repeat it enough is not practicing, that's just killing time. When we see fast passages like this, our common reaction usually is to tighten up and to grip. Contrary to that belief, what is actually needed is considerable amount of freedom. How can you achieve this? Few things to consider. Move back to give room for your arms if you're playing in front of your body and go a little forward when playing in the opposite extremes. If you're holding your elbow out here, this means that you're using energy to withhold your weight and that's not using gravity to help you. Keep your elbows close to you at all times. Think that you're a T-Rex with arms that grew from the middle of your chest, or imagine that the keyboard is a half circle curve around you so your forearm would move like a compass. Breaking down a passage into smaller division and then into the smallest unit is always a good idea. Think of breaking down a paragraph into sentences, then into words, then into syllables because playing 54 notes will always seem more daunting than playing two notes 27 times. I like to group notes from the weak beats, especially in a conbrio setting. Otherwise, it feels as if you are accelerating a car with the handbrake on. Great performance is all about timing. In fact, life is all about timing. What you do with timing determines the effect of the information that's being delivered. Say I want to highlight a note, like the accented one here. I don't do it on the note because that will be far too late. In order to get the accent, I will have to play the previous eighth note, not in the same value, but slightly longer. And from there, I go in faster into the key for the accented note. Just because they are all 8 notes does not mean they are to be played equally. It is like delivering a speech. You don't want to sound like a robot. You want to flow. to pro
process in a very short amount of time. So throughout the episodes, I'll make sure to repeat and keep reinforcing what is important. And I'll also dive deeper into each subject as time goes by. Make the practice room a sacred place to reinforce good habits and avoid repeating and instilling bad ones at all costs. I hope this gives you a little boost of curiosity and a fresh perspective for your practice. If you have any questions or suggestions for topics or passages to discuss, feel free to email me and thank you for tuning in. I'm Ferdi Talan. Until next time.